Hello, my name is Peter Raymer. Today we're going to talk about how to export data to Excel in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations. There's a joke that I've heard. Um, it goes something like this. Uh, what is the most widely used ERP system in the world? Microsoft Excel. And the joke there is that there's a lot of people who use Excel instead of their ERP system like Dynamics um, just because Excel is so useful at working with numbers. And so um, while that, that may or may not be true, um, I do think it's really helpful that uh, Dynamics provides a way to easily export data to Excel. Maybe we're investigating a general ledger or some credits and debits and we just just find it a little easier to play with the numbers in Excel where we can sum up numbers, do a quick pivot table, something like that. Um, so while I definitely encourage you to learn um, to use Dynamics and all the many forms that can provide really useful operations, um, I do think it's helpful to sometimes look at data in Excel. Um, so we're going to do that. Eventually I want to show you how to write X++ code to export to Excel, um, but for now I want to show you this really quick and easy trick that is for everyone. Um, before we talk about that, there are a few different other ways that we can export data. We can use data entities, we can use the data management framework, we can use OData, um, we can use X++, um, as well as Excel. Um, so just want you to know that there's a lot of different ways to export data and it'll kind of depend on you um, and your application of which one makes the most sense. Um, but for now, let me show you this one scenario and we can um, talk through when you might use it. So first things first, let's go to the all customers forms in accounts receivable so you can either type all customers and hit enter or you can come over to your modules on the side click on accounts receivable and then find your all customers form once we do that this is going to take us to the all customers form um, this uh, functionality and feature that I'm going to show you actually works on any form with a grid. I'm just bringing you to the all customers form because I know you all um, have this and um, this is a great source to start. Um, so we can see in my environment there's actually not that many customers. There's about 30 customers which is nice. In yours you might have um, maybe even millions so you may want to choose a different form. Um, but here we go. Once we're in this form, I can see all these columns in the grid. There's about nine columns and this is what's going to get exported. So first I'll show you how to do that and then I'll show you a couple more tricks. So to export to Excel, we actually just need to come to this button up in the top right corner. If I hover over it, it says open in Microsoft Office. I'll click on it and then I'm going to have a few different drop downs for now we're just going to export to Excel. This will give us a read only view of Excel in kind of our next lesson. We'll talk about this open in Excel. So I'm going to click on customers. This label here is going to change based on the name of the form you're in, the data sources. So go ahead and just click on whatever's in uh, underneath this export to Excel. When I do that, I'm going to get another pop-up that asks me how I want to save it. Do I want to download a file in my browser? Do I want to save to OneDrive or a SharePoint? Um, it's going to be easiest for us if we just click this download button for now. And then if I'm in Chrome, it's actually going to download the file down over um, in the bottom right corner here. I'll move my screen here so you can see it. Um, and then we'll, you'll see this message saying we finished your export of 30 rows the full export took zero minutes so that's really quick um, if you're in edge it may open the excel document in another tab entirely so i'm going to go ahead and just click on um, the uh, excel file to open it up and here we go i can enable editing if i want to just to make that message go away so here we are here's my 30 records that I've got. Um, I can see all that data in here. I can see that the columns exactly match 
the columns that I have in this grid. So this is really useful. Maybe I want to do a pivot table or count how many customers I have of a particular customer group. You know, Excel's really great in that you can kind of hover over different values. It can count numbers up. It can sum um, all those great things that you would normally use. But what happens if I don't see the columns that I'm interested in? The customer's table has a lot of columns um, and more columns than just in this grid right here. So how would I make those show up? Um, what we can do is we can use personalization to hide or add the columns we're interested in. So I can actually right click anywhere on this top bar above the grid and I'll get this context menu where I can say insert columns or if I were to uh, right click on one of these columns, I could actually hide this one. So let's pretend I wanna hide the extension and then I can right click and say insert columns and maybe I want to add another column. The system's gonna look at all the underlying data sources for this form and show me all the different options here. I can kind of see this tables over here of where this is coming from. And I can say, hmm, you know what? I wanna add maybe the created date time and see if that'll help. Then I can click this update button right there. And when I do that, the system's gonna update this grid with the created date time of these different records, which is awesome. So then again, I can come up to our open in Microsoft Office, click on our export to Excel, customers, download. And then once I've done that, I can click on my Excel file in the bottom right or bottom left corner here. And it opens it again. And now I have my created date time. And so you can do that with whatever fields you need. You can hide whatever fields you, and columns you want. You can obviously still delete them in here as well, um, even if you've exported them and you don't want them later. Um, so yeah, that's really it. This can be really helpful for you to just do some deeper investigation, figure something out. Many of you probably already know this trick, but it was worthwhile to go over. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching. If you like the video, click the like button. I also invite you to push the subscribe button as well. If there's other topics you would like to see a video on, please post in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.